Brazil, hands down. Trust me on this, I know. Right here, Mr. Reggie Scanlon. Yeah. Professor Long here. When he was, uh, it started when you were 19, right? Okay, 20 something, it's the name of a sitcom he's on. 20 something, yeah. Okay, and next to him, my man Eddie Christmas right here. Yeah! Christmas, Eddie Christmas is one of the best drummers I've ever played with in my entire life. There's a uh, junkyard dog, Eddie Christmas, uh, Willie Green, and, and, and a few others, but it, it's all about telepathy. Seriously, you may not believe that, but he knows what I'm talking about. Okay, right next, right next to me here is John Fole, a guy I met years ago. John Fole played with Dr. John for several years. He played in a band prior to coming here called the Cherry Popping Daddy. He's a very famous band. I met him prior to moving here, and I told him, dude, if you ever move here, call me, because I'll hire you. Because I was playing at the brew house, and he, he dropped in and said, and I was blown away by him. And but now to me, you know, three months later, he called me. I'm here with John Full. Yeah. Yes. And right next to him, this is my main man right here. One of my yeah. best friends of my entire life. Mr. Lionel Batiste Jr. Yeah. One of the uh, founders of the Dirty Dozen Brass Band, played all over the world for 20-something plus years, played with B.B. Uh, King, Miles Davis, all these different people. He's on the record that's on the label of the tip, uh, Tipitinas uh, with uh, Dizzy Gillespie and all that stuff because he was in the he was in the Dirty Dozen at the time. Lionel Batiste Jr., ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. And right next to him, he and I have, have, a, have, a, have this common uh, heritage kind of thing where he, uh, Michael Skink is, is one of the best percussionists in town. He's, he's in one of the best percussionists in, in any town that he steps into. But he's studied in Cuba, Africa, all over the world. He knows a lot of stuff. And he also re revered Alfred E. Gonda Roberts, who was um, yeah. his playing partner when he didn't use a band. So he and I have that thing in common. So I love this guy to death right here. Michael Skinkus. Yeah. Also plays with various versions of the radiators and a whole bunch of different stuff. I mean the guy is like, you know, it's all over the place in a good way. Yeah. Alright. So and not, last but not least we have Big Bill back here, who's uh, our friend, our roadie, and a guy who's gonna play some tambourine on the encore. Big Bill, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes. Alright, so we're going to start this off with a song that I always like to start with because it's an invitation to have fun. And after all, this isn't about having fun. What is it about? Thank you. You're here. Are you all ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go.